Hello friends, good afternoon. Today I am coming up with one of the topic which is required and asked by many people and it is about reconciliation model and the available model like the underpaid model. So my focus is to explain how this model can be set and how it works. So definitely Odoo has given this model and then when we try to set up this model for automatic validation in our reconciliation of bank statement, we can even you know control further by setting up the journal availability, the amount type can be paid or received and if amount you know uh, condition is greater than and payment tolerance which is you know my topic of this particular video tutorial so the focus is about how you can set this model impactfully so that you can also run auto validate reconcile and also matching the amount and payment tolerance so what is this amount is all about so practically the amount of invoice or bill which is greater than one that is you know rupee or dollar according to you that has to be considered to match under this reconciliation model so let's say if i am putting any bill or invoice which is greater than 10000 amount then only it will apply for this particular reconciliation model that is my first condition i can also get lower than greater than in between conditions over here so let's say if i put in between condition and my condition is anything between you know 10,000 up to 20,000 rupees of invoice or bill, then we should auto apply this reconciliation model. And now my payment tolerance limit, which I need to set, I have two options here. Either I can set in amount or percentage, but let me explain what is this tolerance limit. The example which I am going to run is like if the invoice amount is about 10,000 and below 25,000 and the underpaid amount is up to rupees 100 will be considered to match with this auto reconciliation model okay and then anything which is requiring auto reconciliation which is underpaid then it will go to this right of expense account that is what I would like to set right now with this model now let's jump into the practical aspect how it actually works with certain condition like i have set 10,000 and 25,000 with 100 rupees of amount so let's say i have many bills available which is all below you know uh, 10,000 i have invoices which are already paid so if i create any new invoice for customer one and then let's say i am making almost you know, twelve thousand rupees of invoice okay now this is like i need to collect twelve thousand rupees from my customer customer one against this particular invoice now what happens is when customer is paying directly to bank and I am planning to reconcile, then how does it work? So I will register one transaction with customer one where customer is paying 11,900 and uh, let's say 75 rupees and that is he is paying against invoice this so this is my customer one who is paying against three number of invoice where amount was originally or amount is 12,000 but customer has paid you know underpaid it now as soon as I run this you know cycle you can see it has adjusted 12,000 and then 25 rupees which is less then the original invoice amount goes to right of expense 
Now this reconciliation model will run according to scheduler. So I will run it manually and then going again to dashboard and I can see now it is settled down with less amount, which is, you know, according to my condition. Now let's say I am booking one more bill for customer two, that is an invoice. Let's say worth 4,000, okay, for customer one. And now I'm booking a payment transaction. Let me check the customer one worth 4,000 and customer is paying, customer one is paying, let's say 3,950, which is less against invoice, okay. Now what is happening? Does it match my rule? Certainly not because the reconciliation model says the invoice amount should be 10,000 to 25,000 and if I run this manually and go back over here, it will never reconcile my transaction. Okay, it is only suggesting the counterpart open balance. It will not book any invoice against this because the condition doesn't match. Now, as soon as I improve this condition, let's say greater than maybe 1000 and tolerance amount is 100 and then trying to run this manually. Okay, now the condition is there. Okay, now 3950 is the amount and I have improved my condition and then running this reconciliation model. So certainly, it is not going to apply over here because I have changed this condition before I have booked this particular payment. Okay. Now let's say if I am uh, booking another payment for the same customer one, 3980. Okay. This is the latest payment I received and then I run manually. Now it doesn't, uh, you know, respect the thing. So if I go in customer one and then I can see like 4,000 rupees was the original amount and inside my bank reconciliation model, I have said the amount condition is greater than 1,000 and tolerance amount is in rupees that is 100 right so i have changed this and availability is this journal only okay. so now let us wait and see whether it is capturing or not so right now it is not uh, you know respecting our uh, you know conditions so far for this particular transaction so let's see if i say i don't want to auto validate and then if I try to reconcile, then it will always going to be, you know, a manual transaction. So open balance is 3980 and this is open balance because it is going against open balance. That's why, you know, it is not doing my transaction. So I am just removing this. Okay, this reconciliation you know, as a suggested part. Okay. And I'm going over here and then running this reconciliation again. So it is going into this open balance by default in terms of manual thing. Now let's me go to reconciliation model. So I don't want to uh, carry this open balance transaction anymore. So these are my models and I'm just going inside here. 
to fix this so it's let me no these are still not matched and i want to reconcile so i think all the information is correct but let me you know delete this journal entry which are not to reconcile so i'm making reset to draft and deleting so clearing it up first now i am re-registering my transaction match then customer one and three thousand nine hundred and eighty payment four i'm doing this and then i'm running my reconciliation model and then going back so now should match let us check reconciliation model so amount is you know greater than one the tolerance remit should be 100 in amount and it should go to right of expense now i think we have done we are satisfying this condition 3980 is the payment and yeah invoice is number four ah, that is not matching okay gentlemen so now i find out the issue in our entry because it is you know matching the label so now as soon as i match the label and everything and running this model it will work and automatic reconcile with the said entry of P3980 and 4000. So the reconciliation model I am coming back again over here which matches the label and partners. And then it is going to reconcile the entry perfectly fine. Okay. So let's say if we are running one more example for invoices for customer 2 which should satisfy our condition so over here now let's say my condition is satisfying worth 10,000 okay and I am going and registering a transaction over here so customer 2 worth 10,000 rupees so customer 2 worth 9,990 so making this only I am not making any invoice number over here and then running my reconciliation model it will you know, not apply exactly because if I am checking everything and then going it will not respect my reconciliation because it is not finding the proper information from my payment things so open balance is still there but i have to improve this with our exact number okay so invoice number five is there and then if i go back to dashboard and come here and reconcile it will reconcile like this and then once model will run according to its scheduler it will go and reconcile the item so this is how the information is the key to validate auto reconciliation with underpayment option over here which Odoo is introducing so hope you guys have fair understanding now for amount condition and payment tolerance level which both can be there to find out the exact match and condition and then label and reference and partner will carry out another information to auto match this underpaid invoice and bills. Thank you guys. Good day.